for the first time. And we are underway. That's served by Lily Wagner from the back row. Tipped softly by Hansen. Ryland Reed unloading. Great effort by Wooker to keep that point alive. And then Hansen with a blast to start off the score. Fia Summers, nine aces the last three matches, had just one in her entire career. This is fourth season playing college volleyball. But you wouldn't know it there with that pass. This kill by Julia Hansen is so impressive. It's a beautiful ball by Melanie Schaffenster, but look at how high she... Lauren Carter, another setter in this 6-2 offensive system run by the Wildcats trying to manufacture some scoring. And no surprise, they go right back to the hot hand and Hansen snapping it down the lock. Minnesota's going to try and keep her out of her rhythm so that they can force her to make errors just like that last point. Targeting the back row again with Wagner. Hansen again gets the touch and she is unstoppable a significant absence for this offense. Alexa Russo, the setter who has just started hitting when she's in the front row this season as part of the 6-2, as Hansen lands it near that back line. It was eight points. It's just really incredible to watch her work tonight. When we talked to Coach Tim Nolan earlier this morning, he said, we're really trying to get our middles involved, both on perfect passes, but also when they're not as perfect. They're going to push their middles. Lydia, uh, Julia Hansen continues to be unstoppable with her sixth kill. Still airless on 14 swings, hitting 571 for Julia Hansen. Another block for Minnesota. They are swarming Northwestern at the net. Very well-formed block. Northwestern, nothing to do. Top six in the entire nation with the stretch that she's been on. Shaftmaster at the service line. Rousseau trying to place it over the center and hitter trying to be crafty. And Minnesota able to quickly take advantage for another quick start here. For Northwestern, Carter is Northwestern's second setter, just feeling like she's not quite in sync with her. Tim Nolan talked about their need to be aggressive, and they haven't been super effective, but these serves are putting Minnesota out of system and out of sorts. So those numbers for Kennedy Hill, blistering offense in the words of her head coach. Tracks it down and finds a Hansen with a brilliant swing. Full swing over that block. That's very hard to defend. Already. But she's very effective. This is her first time playing in the Big Ten as a transfer from South Florida. Was all AAC last season. And Hansen's got an answer right back. Lines out of both of them. Northwestern are going to be a little bit disappointed here with their defense because Hansen just takes it right inside of that block, right cross. Elise McGee of the service line was able to get Northwestern out of system early in the first set. Hansen unloads. Now that one, it's a very sharp angle. And you take a look at where this ball lands. It is well in front of Hazan, hitting 588. Minnesota still with set point. Hill, the solo block by Minity. Shaftmaster feeding Hansen. My gosh, what a blast by Hansen to end that set. Is going to her. Both blockers left very early. Watch this. The both blockers are going to go straight out. Put a block. That Northwestern has been looking for. They're hitting just 185 as a team this season. That's the bottom in the Big Ten. Also last in kills per set, but it's those opportunities that they're able to find. Reed has that sent back. Summers, but Crow keeps it up. And Hansen putting a dent in the floor with that swing. What's to say about how great these swings are? It's on the right side, it's on the outside. She just eight to two scoring run. Hazan, 13 kills. And airless on 23 swings. Great effort by the Wildcats, and we will somehow play on. Hansen, though, make sure it's not for long with that swing. Gosh, great effort, but Hansen just too much tonight. 